a music video that changed my life. For me personally, it was actually Red Man, I'll Be That. That, would be, that was the video I did. I don't know if it's an artistic inspiration, but it was the video where everything kind of came together for me. It was the thing that made people say, who's that guy? The music video that changed my life as an artistic inspiration that led me down a path was Flavor In Your Ear Remix. I was living on my own and my friends were over and uh, you know, they were, they were older and didn't go to school so they were always up doing craziness and I remember them waking me up in the middle of the morning and I remember waking up and there's this black and white video and there was this girl dancing beside LL Cool J and I just remember saying, look at that girl. And then I woke up and started to watch this video and the video just looked like something. So for hip hop, it wasn't like that. It, our videos didn't look like it was, they were cool you know, there's a guy in front of a cool bodega, there's a guy doing cool, but nev it never felt like art. Art's something you feel. And then suddenly there's this video that felt like art. The director was Hype Williams. So then we now had a hip hop artist outside of being the art, being the rapper or the DJ or being the producer. So now there's this new expression, the director. And then you saw these other videos. Remember, he did a video for Guru that was just, wow, look at that. Look at that film. Look at that shot. That, you know, crazy for Naughty by Nature. We were entering this new time of hip hop. Uh, Wu-Tang Clan, can it all be so simple? I mean, everyone wanted their video to look like the Wu-Tang video. Everybody wanted their video to look like that. And it was around the time that I was deciding I wanted to be a director. These two things collided. And so I, I tracked down hype. I put together this package of all the stuff I'd done. I sent it to the company. I managed to work my way in, and I became an intern at Hype Williams' company and was able to learn from him how things were done. And I guess that brings me back to Redman. The real hitting the stage was Redman I'll Be That, taking all these things I'd learned, the studying I'd done outside of just being around hype, but the studying that I had personally done about filmmaking and made this video that hit. It was a record that hit. The video, the video aided that song. This was when a video make, would make a difference. That video made a difference to that record and um, made a difference for me.